Good morning. Oh, I see there's the um, little blue icon. <laughs> yeah, that, so that means we get a radio message. Oh, well, I gotta get back in this game. Oh yeah, so that exploded. That was cool. This game is beautiful. So we gotta eat, first of all. We're hungry. This peeper. Vital signs stabilizing. Yeah, we were looking at building. Warning, emergency power only. Oxygen Maybe production. Power for that. Oh yeah, but I didn't want to build here because it's basically just right where the space is. I wanna go and find a place where I wanna build a base. Oh, cool. So I gotta do more exploring. I still have no idea. I gotta go down on that deep part, I think it's over there, not... Actually, this... Which... Okay, I have... There's no compass. Or no... North, East, or West, so... I don't know which... Okay, we can assume the sun sets... Okay, we'll just call the sun East and West. I don't know if that's east or that's west, but it doesn't really matter. I guess we can also use that ship, kind of. Nah, because then the, wherever we move on the ship, it's gonna... If we move too far, we can't use this. Okay. The east and west, we use the sun. I don't know if that planet moves. You can kind of see it moving right now, actually, I think. Oh yeah, definitely. Okay, so look at the sun to find the direction. And wait, I can actually do that just with the shadows down here. Oh, but when I go in cave systems... Okay, wait, hold on a second. Pathfinder tool. Dude, this game has to have a compass. Maybe I just gotta find it? I don't know. Or maybe that's why it's so hard to find your way around caves. It's also really hard to just get yourself above the water in this game. The waves, I guess, keep coming up in your face.
and it would really mess with me if the sun moved or like it didn't go straight east and west it rotated around that would I still haven't actually watched the sun to make sure that I can use it for directions but I'm pretty positive considering you have no compass the devs have built all these like in-depth creatures I guarantee they thought about navigation Where are these eggs? Can I scan that? Have I already scanned that? Crash fish, we never read about this. This unusual species has developed an emergency defense mechanism based on mutually assured destruction. Forward mounted eye enables the creature to identify and track potential predators. Sulfur plant the sulfur plant has evolved to feed on sulfur compound compounds. Oh, wait. I gotta put myself over this. There we go. Okay. Sulfur plants evolved to feed on sulfur compounds created by the crashfish, which makes it nest within the leaves. Stronger, more protective plants provide superior nesting grounds, which in turn provide the plant with more nutrients for, from larger crashfish. Defense mechanisms, concentration of sulfur build up in the organism over time. If the crashfish collides with something at sufficient speed, the spikes on its torso are impacted, triggering an, an explosive chemical reaction. Assessment equipped stasis rifle, repulsion cannon are similar before approaching. Wait, stasis rifle and repulsion cannon. That sounds really cool. Hello there, good morning. Okay, let me make sure the camera is actually on, right? It is, okay. Do I have to read these or... oh no, there we go. Bugged me that, that these weren't... those weren't red. like a big creature. What was that deep rumbling noise? Look at this, we're pretty far under right now. I wonder if I should go up for air. I don't think I'm gonna find a brain coral down here. Oh look, there's a brain coral. What is that noise? Is that a gasopod? Oh my god, this place is scary. Thirty seconds. Oh Jesus Christ. Oh man. That is I don't know what that is, but it doesn't look friendly. Holy shit. Okay, this is like, this is terrifying. 
Oh my god, no. That is that is way too deep. I think it's called Philosophobia. I like the fear of the big deep void that is the ocean. Oh yeah, there's gasopods right there. Man, that's oh man, that's a great thing about this game though. It makes you scared. I gotta get some, um, I should probably listen to that radio, but I also want to actually build a habitat. Those underwater caves are so cool. Yeah, you know what? I think I'm just gonna, uh... I'm gonna go listen to the radio. I'm just gonna... I actually want to try and get the sea glide. Or the mo the vehicle something. Vehicle bay. I don't know. Any sort of vehicle that actually makes me go fast. Gotta go fast. I want that actually over habitat. It looks like it's actually going to be pretty hard to build this. Wait, deconstruct. Oh, cool. I actually thought I wasted stuff by building it here. That's cool, actually. So you can just... Did I get all the pieces back? So wait, you can just build bases up somewhere and just take them down at any time. That's actually amazing. Wait, so maybe you can just like carry a base around with you? Yeah, I could try and make this as well. Oh, let's listen to uh pre-recorded distress call. This is Life Pod 6. I have a passenger on board. Coordinates attached. We've landed a kilometer from the crash site, but there's radiation in between us and the rendezvous. Request immediate assistance. Six out. Signal coordinates corrupted. Approximate transmission origin recorded to date to bank. Oh, that has the red grass by where we just were. Approximately 400 meters west northwest of LifePod 4's last location. Wait, LifePod 4? What's LifePod 4? Oh man, we're probably gonna find other life pods. So if we get LifePod 4, then we know we have a good idea of where that one is. Okay. And I've got too many items. The one thing I do need a habitat builder for is storing. You know what? I may... Oh, I deconstructed that, but I may just... Like, I want to actually just build this. I wish I could just build a storage locker in here. I wish just let me build... A little wall locker in here. So then I could just increase my storage. I guess it's to make you build a base, though. Where do I want to build a base? Oh, wait. How do I cancel this? Oh, no. There we go. I'm closer to the mobile vehicle bay than I am the sea glide. 
Man. Yeah, screw it. I'm just gonna build a base like right here, just full of storage lockers. I don't want to do a glass compartment <laughs> just because it looks cool. I don't know though. I feel like this X compartment has the most space, so I should do this. It's weird how I can just make this in like floating in midair, but sure, let's do it. production offline. Alright, small wall mounted storage locker, large freestanding storage. We'll try a wall locker first. Oh, can we put it on the ceiling? Oxygen. Oh shit. Oh no. Uh, oh god. What button is it to stop doing this so I can leave the hatch? Okay, hold on. We're gonna save here. Oh, there we go. When I save it automatically exit it out. Oh god. Man, I wish I could put the wall locker on the ceiling. I wanna just fill this room up with wall lockers <laughs> or lockers. Yeah, I'm probably gonna I'm gonna go get some quartz and build actual lockers. How do I cancel this? Left. Actually, wait, I already have... I already have quartz. Oh, I see why it let me build it floating, because there's these foundation rod, um, pillars. How many can I fit in here? It's really weird how it's like not colliding with anything, but I still can't place it. Or at least it doesn't look like it's touching anything. Oh, look at all this storage. If we can put two in there. Oh god, oxygen. I should probably build a solar panel here for this, but... It seems like that's as close as I can get. Alright, there we go. Oh my god, look at all that storage, that's amazing. Hmm, 
I should probably have some sort of organization structure to this, but we'll see. <laughs> I was trying to use the scanner as the habitat builder. Aquarium self-sustaining aquatic habitat. So... I can keep fish? Did I actually, like, build an aquarium of fish? That would actually be a super cool mechanic if the game has that. We actually almost ran out of quartz there, so grab some quartz. Thirty seconds. Oh fuck these. Screw those guys. Oh yeah, we still need to build the radiation suit. Okay. So this... Okay, so hold on. So we traveled... We'll call that east. We traveled east last time. We're gonna travel... We'll call this north. This... Towards the ship. from our base to the ship. I'm gonna explore this way. So we... So these are actually different creep vines than what we explored. Wait, or are they? Oh, we've never seen one of these before. New creature discovered. Is this the same wreckage that we saw over there? Man, keeping track of things, like, I feel like this is a game you could literally, like, literally get lost in. Like, you lose where your base is or whatever. Oh, I got a radio message. I just got a prompt to scan something, I don't know. That doesn't, doesn't say anything. Or if it doesn't, blind. got a knife now. Don't mess with me. Whoa, radiation detected. Oh shit. Oh no, nope. 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 Okay, so that's what it meant when it said yesterday that the ship was gonna blow up. Ooh, that's creepy. Okay, so 
I'm guessing when we get the radiation suit, we can actually go over there. I don't know if I have enough lead for that. Let me. <laughs> that hurt the stalkers. Oh yeah, this cave is full of... full of stuff. Oh wait, that's not... these don't have lead though. I need some sandstone ones. I can always use bladder fish for water. I think that's the one thing I actually seem to always be low on is water. So I just need to keep getting bladder fish. Oh my god though, so I was just I was just kinda trying this game the other day though. I'm yeah, I think this is gonna be a huge game. Like like can spend hours and hours in this. thing I am getting really used to is getting these brain coral for oxygen. Oh man, it helps so much. Let's me stay down underwater so much longer. Oh, here's our last mobile bay fragment. Vehicle bay fragment. Can I hide in here from the stalker? <laughs> I can hide in the crate. Oh, that's good. Stalker doesn't have shit on me. Now this is like west, southwest. Oh man, if there's an actual compass in this game, I shouldn't actually be memorizing my own <laughs> thunder sun-based directions, because then it's going to completely screw up the actual north, east, southwest. Actually, this is probably east, not west. Thirty seconds. This game is beautiful, though. They've got some really interesting god rays in this. They are super subtle, and they aren't like the god rays you see in every other. Uh, Unreal Engine game and everything where they completely take up the screen. They're just super subtle sun shafts. It's very nice. And I actually think they do um, occlude. Like if you 
go under here. Yeah, it blocks the sun shafts. It looks so nice. The devs did such a nice job with the game. Whoa, what was that that I just uh, said I could scan? Oh, there's a brain coral as well, so I can stay down longer. bacteria levels in the water. Performing a self-scan is advised. What? Now. Self-scan complete. Vital signs normal. Detecting trace amounts of foreign bacteria. Continuing to monitor. Oh god. That's not good, is it? We're becoming one with the planet. I saw something cool over here, something... Okay, well that's a... Oh! This is like what I was looking at. Yeah, those glowing things over there. So that must might be another cave if those glowing things are in the caves. Oh, they're checking out. The roofing stinger. Okay, those are just things trying to kill me. Nothing else to see there. Wait. Oh, did I miss the... Um... Thirty seconds. I must have completely missed the drooping stinger. I don't see it there. Oh, I got all these bladder fish, but not actually Vital processed. Stabilizing. There we go. I think we got enough lead as well. Let's just explore down here. For cave divers is loss of orientation, followed by eventual asphyxiation. Thank you, thank you for letting me know. Thirty seconds. It is also getting dark. Oh god, it is getting dark out. I should head back. I think it's gonna get dark soon. Got everything I need as well. As a developer, I'm wondering uh, how, like, how much of this is procedurally generated, and is the so is the world just a gigantic procedurally generated world, almost like Minecraft, where like this stuff almost goes on forever, or is it like a contained block that goes to like where the ship is? And was it like, was this all handcrafted by the devs? Like, I almost want to go and hop into a different game and see if anything's changed. 
but I don't think it has changed. Because I, uh, when I was playing in VR before, um, I actually recognized that I think it's like, basically I saw the same spot I was at in VR like this. Maybe they, it's like a tile system and they reuse them, I don't know. I should actually Google that if there's... Yeah, I don't want to spoil it for myself though, like, if it is fixed, I don't want to Google and find, like, a map of Subnautica and basically, like, spoil the whole map for myself. Uploading our coordinates. We're plugging some holes in our emergency sea glide, so if we're late for the rendezvous, don't panic. Also, don't go home without us. Seriously. Three out. Signal location uploaded to PDA. Map is fixed, not sure about limestone. Only the capsule starting position is randomized. Okay. I ain't not a key on password too long. In the first biome. Okay. Ooh, first biome. So we're gonna see, like... Is there, like, a snow biome on this one? Like, Sub-Zero? Consider disguising the flavor of unsavory meats with salt or locally sourced herbs and spices. You can do speed runs. Ooh. So it is that type of game. Is there a compass? Warning. Emergency power only. Oxygen production offline. for this. Oh, glass. I, I swore I had glass. Oh, right here. A normal O2 tank. I don't have enough room for that. I'll still need to put stuff in storage. There we go. High capacity. So how much is this? Nice, 135. Now did we unlock another one? No. I'm guessing like the end goal is actually to get like a vehicle. Yeah, and I also was going to build the radiation suit. Oh, okay. Fiber meshes are from those keep creep vine. Each playthrough, you need to scour for stuff you need, yeah. I'm just trying to stare at this dark part so it doesn't scare me anymore. 
Actually, what really helps... Okay, that doesn't help. Shining a flashlight... Oh, fuck, that's the wrong way. That is the wrong way. Shining a flashlight into darkness and seeing nothing back is kind of creepy. But seeing all the glowing fish and everything is so nice. Did you try different shaders available? No. Oh wait, are those like these? Um, the color grading? Oh, that makes it super dark. Oh god, I can't see anything now. <laughs> this is... This is great, I'm completely blind. I don't know what there's to be afraid of. I don't know why, but I thought there was more than that. I like it the best with off. Wait, what is this? Oh, I didn't even check that out! Don't panic. Oh my god, it actually gave me a, um... A beacon? Who record their sea glide damage? I just got a prompt to scan something there. Oh, blue palm. That's 400 meters away. I'm gonna go try and get some creep vines first. And I really need to start trying to memorize this map because I have no idea where I'm going and that's part of what terrifies me. I think the game heard me when I said I'm always running low on water and just spawned a whole bunch of bladder fish in. I keep looking around trying to find sea glide parts and it's the thing I want to vehicle the most and the game isn't giving me any sea glide parts. I wonder, are, I'm wondering are the parts in a fixed location? Because I actually saw in the um, data pad it said you could find blueprints at like the ship. Like I'm assuming if I get the radiation ship and I travel all the way to the crash ship over there, I can get some crazy blueprints from the crap, from the scrap. This is Avery Quinn of Trading Ships. Holy shit! An actual Aurora person. Reed. Over. Nothing but vacuum. These Altera ships. They run low on engine grease, send an SOS, you offer to help, they don't pick up. Aurora, I'm out on the far side of the system. It's gonna take more than a week to reach your position. You still need our assistance. Over. I'll try them again tomorrow. Damn charter's gonna have us blowing our credits running errands for Altera. See what the long range hands pick up in the meantime. Now I love all the sci-fi in this game. Your game dev you said kind of. Mostly software. So I don't think these things going bad affect the fiber mesh at all. Um, 
boxes are not randomized, but their contents are. Okay. Here we go, radiation suit. What I seriously need though, so that I don't get lost, is some sort of compass. Rebreather conserves oxygen when diving deeper, absorbs and recycles CO2. Oh my god, so this can make our oxygen last even longer, and it's just a wiring kit and fiber mesh. Got more fiber mesh. Yeah, I guess I just gotta go exploring more to find more blueprints. Or, you know what? It actually uncovered blueprints when I was mining the ore. I almost wonder if just finding the ore uncovers blueprints as well. Or at least like for the fabricator here. locker. I guess just other stuff too. That way I can pick up. I'm going to go on a long trip. I'm going to go... I'm going to try and go all the way over to this. Three hundred and fifty meters away. I seem to swim pretty quickly though. And I got the radiation suit now, so it actually... No, this is in the opposite direction of the radiation. Unless there's radiation in other places besides the ship. Sandstone. I just saw a weird particle effect. Oh, what the? What? <laughs> what was that? Okay, can, it, can I scan it, is the question. It is your primary no. Oh, yeah. What? Mesmer. Man, that really locks in your vision. Not seeing any, uh... Oh, shh. Oh, no. I need to go get oxygen. <laughs> Looking for brain coral. Man, this game just constantly keeps you on your toes and edge by taking you low on oxygen and go, gotta breathe, gotta breathe. Yes, sea glide fragment. This is what I'm looking for. Overall progress, one out of two. That's awesome. I just need one more. Whoa. Oh, man. 
man, I got I got kind of off track. Okay, that's a hundred meters. There are so many things to explore here. Oh, that's one of those. Okay. Salt deposit, special equipment required to collect. Want a little tip that mainly makes your life more convenient? No spoilers? Sure. Thought I just saw some bubbles from a brain coral. Man, it's creepy how deep we're getting in the water. You can have backup O2 tanks in here and the joint swap on the fly. Oh, okay. That's cool. Gotta be filled by equipment them separately at the surface. Yeah, that makes sense. That is a very good tip though, thank you. That's such a cool system they have where like all of the things are inventory items. Alright, I've got off track, I gotta keep going towards this. Finding that sea glide fragment though really made me want to explore all around there. Oh, here it is. actually make them run away? It does, okay. Sea glide fragment, yes! Okay, so these people, actually in their message, they said their sea, sea glide was damaged, right? Uh, we're plugging some holes in our emergency sea glide, yeah. So these probably lead us to blueprints. And in PDA. Integrating new PDA data. Wait, what? Just took me away from it. How do I play it? It won't. A doesn't play it. B doesn't play it. R B L B doesn't play it. What? How do you? Open data box. Compass! Displays compass heading on UI! Yes, this is... Oh my god, that's exactly what I was asking for! Holy shit, it's a Christmas! How do I play this? It has a little play button there. Oh, we have to. You have to go over on the you controller. Really think carry two of us? Your regular sea glide tows a mass of 80 kilograms at over 30 kilometers an hour. The power cell rigged to this one should double that. You think there's something out there that's faster? Oh sure, and that's assuming it doesn't overload three meters from the life pod. You're calm about this. I'm seeing the engineering problem. If I stop seeing the maths, I'll be terrified. Huh. Wait, let's see this. Sea glide. Battery, lubricant, copper wire. Compass. Copper and wire kit displays heading on HUD. 
Ooh, this is gonna be good. What's lubricant? Oh, lubricant is street fine clusters right here. All right, on our way back, we're gonna grab those materials. What was that? What was that little ringing noise or? Oh my god, that guy just went past fast. Crab trap. Oh, we get a grab trap, whatever that is. Oh, and a trash can. This game really rewards you for exploring. Whoa, what is this? Oh, that's like an underwater volcanic vent. Oh my god, I'm so excited to make the sea glide. Oh yeah, so I'm gonna need some acid mushrooms for the batteries. Coral. Uh, actually, it's a wiring kit, so I need silver, I think. Oh my god, and there was a sea glide fragment this close to the to my base, just hiding there. Let's go back. Aurora, this is Sunbeam again. We just picked up a massive debris field at your location. I didn't know how bad... how many of you... I didn't know. We're now en route to your location. We're gonna bring you home. Sunbeam out. What else can I say? The only time I parked a rig this big on a rock that small was in VR. And I blew it. It's a bad option, all right, but so are all the others. Damn. is essential in construction of vehicles and power plants. I wonder if we're actually going to get out of here. I don't think we are. But that actually, like, <laughs> I never... The idea of escaping the planet never even came to me until that radio message, so... Silver. Emergency power only. Oxygen production offline. Oh, 
here we go. We actually have enough to produce each. compass and we can oh we gotta choose between the compass and the sea glide oh man we're obviously going with the sea glide and we can easily get some more copper for the the sea glide will increase your effective exploration range for your safety please pack supplies for long journeys and stay within five kilometers of the nearest Oh yeah, look at this. Oh, and it's got a built-in flashlight. And what is that? A map of the terrain? That is... It has a holographic map of the terrain. Oh my god. It doesn't have northeast or west, does it? Hey, Morme. What the... So they put in a holographic map, but there's no northeast or west in it. Am I blind, or...? Really? Man, I don't... I can't use a 3D map at all. I just need north, east, south, or west. Okay, so I still need to get that compass. Vital signs stabilizing. I actually have enough thing for it. Oh, this is so cool though. We'll be able to travel so much quicker now. No, actually we don't have enough copper for it right now. Well, we're going to use our new Sea Glide. There we go. Maybe the map's bad. Yeah. Oh, what's in here? Oh, and now I can go to the surface faster as well. Oh yeah, I'm going to be able to cross so much more distance now. Here we go, compass. Yes, that's exactly what it, okay, wait. So let me, let me gain a bearing, where is everything? Oh, wait, so the sun is actually northeast. It's not exactly Oh my god, I was actually very close. That is east. West? South? North? That's weird. The sun is northeast. Okay. This 
Zazi from the cafeteria. What the hell, guys? They didn't want us this might happen. Our pod was almost crushed by the Seamoth Bay on the way down. Now we're hanging on the edge of a cave system, and this grim-looking snake thing's trying to eat through the hull. Come get us already. Signal location Poor Ozzy. to PDA. Let's go use our new sea glide to get to them. First of all, I'm gonna put a bunch of stuff away in the locker. Then we can grab more. Grab resources while I'm out. I think that's a good way of doing things. Putting everything out of your inventory, then going out on one of these runs. So you can bring back a bunch of items. I'll be right back, I'm just gonna go and get some food.
Medical scans show a nearby cave entrance, depth 90 meters, leading to an unknown environmental biome. New creature discovered. Man, I hate how... Oh man, was my mic muted that time? So, uh, does the mic... Hold on, let me test this. Short-range scans suggest this biome supports extensive biodiversity and connects to a number of small cave networks. have to go out of Subnautica mute and unmute my mic. I keep eating this one. Yeah, I'm eating crunchy cereal, that's why I'm muting. But Subnautica has this really annoying thing where I can't mute it in the game. I have to minimize out of it. Or it brings up the bug report scene. Off fragment. One out of three. Integrating new PDA data. Listen to this. You really think it'll carry two of us? Your regular sea glider oh, that's the wrong one. How's his log? It's the day of the crash. I don't know what the heck is happening. I'm scared and I'm not going outside. There are shadows in the water under the hatch, but I can't tell if they're rocks or What aliens. is that? And there's weird looking caves nearby. The Aurora was carrying everything needed to build the phase gate. Mobile vehicle bays, bioreactors, propulsion cannons. It had a cinema. There, there was a zero G gym. My cafe. I don't understand how we're here now. I don't know why no one's coming for me. Wait, screenshot? I just accidentally took a screenshot. Huh. Look at that giant thing right there. I did not accidentally take screenshots now. Voice acting in that recording was very good. You know, those fish are super quick. I gotta watch out for them. Oh, that's a new fish. Oh my god, there's so many new things here. Biter. Oh. Right, where's that entrance to the cave system? Right here. Hopefully there's brain coral or something here. Oxygen efficiency decreased. Oh, so many new things. Thirty seconds. Magnetite.
the conditions in this cave support a microcosm of unique, possibly predatory life forms. Detecting an artificial structure somewhere in the region, passing 200 meters. Oxygen efficiency greatly decreased. Alright, so it seems like the underwater caves in this are going to be insane. I don't even know where to begin. Like, I think I actually need to get the rebreather to increase my oxygen efficiency. to get some better vehicle. I can travel through it quicker and safer. So I wonder if it's like if it's good to build a base deep in like a cave like that. Yeah, it takes a really long time to restore your oxygen with these things. Hell yeah, I can get away from those things now with my sea glide. Damn, the game does not like when you go above water. It just freezes for like a whole second. Yeah, it probably is that. I like how you can cook everything. If you want to eat it, go for it. Seek fluid intake immediately. Vital signs stabilizing. I don't think I can do anything with this jelly... jelly shroom or whatever. What was I going to make again? Um, rebreather. Wire and kit and fiber mesh. So we need silver. Got one silver here. Warning. Emergency power only. Oxygen production offline. And I got another piece of silver here.
but I don't have any wire mesh. Oh god, what? What is that noise? Thank you game for all the bladder fish. I think the creep vines are west. Yep. Oh, you can cut down the whole creep vine. Oh no, I don't want to be responsible for deforestation. Oh my god, I wasn't expecting this. You can only equip the radiation helmet and the rebreather separately. Oh shit. Okay, so I guess you can't go deep in radiation areas as easy. throw this on the ground because it's decomposing now. Get the radiation helmet on, let's put the rebreather on. How much slower is it? I wonder if it just helps when you get deeper. Conserves when diving deeper, yes, yeah, so I think it only affects when you're diving deeper. I think that's going to be it here for Subnautica this morning. I want to get started on, uh, or get ready to do this coding stream. I'm actually going to make a little JavaScript game this morning. We haven't done that for a while. Uh, the last time we did that was we made Minesweeper, but today we're actually going to try and make a online game with web sockets and JavaScript. Um, so that should be pretty... The back end is going to be in C, though. So it's not all going to be JavaScript. We're still going to be doing a back end in C. Not going to be doing any account system or anything. It's just going to be like you log in or you, you just literally click play and it connects to the server. Just do a super simple client server setup today. That, so I'm excited for that. 
should be really interesting. Uh, I'm just gonna go offline now and actually I need to think about this. Uh, I'm not sure if I'm gonna put the stream offline for like 15 minutes or if I'm just gonna put it on. Nah, because I gotta switch the stream title and everything so I'll I'm gonna go now. I'll be back in like 15 minutes. The stream will go live again. Be a normal programming stream. So if you're interested in that, check it out. Other than that, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed Subnautica. Because I am enjoying this so much. I really haven't played any game like this. I thought I thought Bioshock captured the whole underwater theme well, but like this is a whole other level. Crazy. So thank you for watching. I'll see you around, especially if you come to the coding stream. Bye-bye. And if you want to keep talking, there's always Discord.